everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some bills, babe. Today is the last day to enter the Vineyard Contest and to get Farming Simulator 1922 on sale. And we got seven modders to talk about today, including the release date for the Perard Pack. Check it out. Starting off with the mod testing list. In the first stage of testing, we've got some automatic barriers, bell counting system, the Case Puma Tier 4B back in testing, as well as a Case JX100U, which is a smaller tractor that we've never seen before. We also have the European countryside still in testing, as well as the Ford 10 Series 3, Gold Crest Valley and Gold Crest Valley 22 are in testing. Curious what the difference is going to be between that one. Oh, maybe it's two different modders. Ooh, that would be interesting. Moving down, we've still got a few John Deere stuff in testing, Lizard stuff as always, and some Masseys as well. Also back in testing is the tool I control for Harvesters, which was the fast farming mod in Farming Simulator 19 for consoles. I really hope this mod comes back the way it worked in 19. Speaking of consoles, we've also got the self-made tow truck, which I'm very interested to see as adding the term self-made to anything has not been a great sign of quality in the past. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. I'm not sure I would get my hopes up, honestly. In addition to the mods and testing, we still have 522 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the estimated waiting time for those is 16 work days. Today is the last day to enter the Vineyard Contest. During their live stream yesterday, Giants said that players with a great vineyard would have a nice shot at winning, and was even said that if there's mountains in the background, well, that's going to be a big plus. Just saying. You guys have until 5.59 p.m. Eastern Time, 2.59 p.m. Pacific Time tomorrow to enter. Check the link in the description for full rules and details. Today is also the last day to get Farming Simulator 22 on sale on the Farm Sim website. Get the digital version for PC and Mac on sale for 20% off, the Year 1 bundle also for 20% off, and the Year 1 Season Pass for 25% off. Getting them separately comes out to about the same price right now. So if you've been wanting to get the Season Pass by itself, well, now's a great time to do so. Also, link below. Making our way over to today's top stories, an 82 studio yet again has posted some awesome pics and information on the TLX Phoenix X3 version. Shown here with the new Homer Auger, which just released on Monday. It's already in the conversion process. Of course, it could be used alongside the already released Phoenix and X52 trailer. David should be live streaming his latest progress on these mods and more this evening around 6 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube. So check the link below beside 82 Studio YT to see that. Universe Simu Modding have announced that the Perard Pack is going to be dropping this weekend on Saturday, April the 9th, 2022 for all platforms on ModHub. This pack includes at least 14 different trailers and tools to use for different jobs around your farm. With the release being so close, we should be seeing an early look at this pack as a whole very soon. So keep an eye out on the channel for information on that. Ada Modding is bringing back another mod from Farm Sim 19, the Lizard 200 Sprayer. This was available with the Sprayer and Universal Front Tank back then. With Precision Farming coming up, a small sprayer like this is going to be perfect for smaller fields that need variable rate weed control. The sprayer is going to be available to hold 600 liters and has a working width of 6 meters. And the front tank is going to hold 600 liters as well since they both use the exact same tank. In Farming Simulator 19, that front tank also held liquid fertilizer, herbicide, milk, and water. So if that feature comes back to Farming Simulator 22, I would say it's definitely going to be popular. Adub says they will have something bigger in the pack soon. I'll let you guys know when we have more information. Calaruga Modding says that their Camara trailer, the Spanish one that we've been talking about, will be delayed as it did fail testing again. This did require some changes that have already been made, and it's been resubmitted for testing once again. Shown here is the spread axle version, with the tandem axle version being released alongside with it as a pack. Meanwhile, Calaruga Modding says that they have continued to make new machinery in the background, and by the end of this week, we should have some screenshots and information on their next projects. 4D Modding is back with us today with a little update on their high-spec 5000 Tri-S tanker, saying that they're walking through the in-game process right now. There's still lots to do, but progress is moving along very well. And as far as I can tell, this is going to be the largest slurry tank that 4D have released, as they did release the 3500, 3000, and 2300 back in Farming Simulator 19, but nothing this large. It's going to be nice to have a larger machine from them. An update for console players, by the way, they still haven't said anything about their previous releases, just the continued statement of console release in the coming weeks via ModHub. Although, to be fair, they have not included that statement on anything since the beginning of February, literally two months ago. 
We'll just see what happens. Hopefully they keep their word. Nitro Dad has announced his next map, Middleburg. As with all of his maps, this one is going to be full of detail and surprises around every single corner with lots to do, places to see, and an endless supply of productions and fields. Not much in the way of detail has been released yet on the map, but we finally have the name, Middleburg. And lastly today, I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow with the Alien Paula Farming Agency to talk about Maze Plus and Farming Simulator 22 and how it's going to be different from the Farming Simulator 19 version. We're also going to talk about the platforms it'll be available on and how you can download it once it is released. The stream is going to be on Alien Paul's YouTube channel tomorrow, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern time and should last between one and two hours. You are not going to want to miss it. Just like I'm sure you missed the lack of self-aware segue to the outro yesterday. Even though the lack of one talking about how there's a lack of one really is a segue. And it's totally aware of what it is. Just like this one. But it does know. You know? Yeah, me neither. And I wrote that. Just like every episode of Farmset News. Links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about... It just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. And we'll see you later. Well, if Giants want to release mods early in the morning, I'll wake up even earlier to do the news.